Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. So, the month of June, so much has happened. If you haven't already, please check out your Uranus into Taurus special um, that I have posted. I think it will explain a lot for a lot of people. Um, and also it's a seven year transit. There's card pulling in there, there's astrology, um, you know, and a proper potent mix of both. So enjoy. Um, so I would like to bless both of these decks of cards that I'm about to use with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. And they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what your actions and your interactions have in store for you in the month of June. Okay, you get the strength card. So straight away, um, Aries, this month, your modern ruler is in the sign of Aquarius, which is really interesting anyway, because, you know, Aquarius is all about other. Aries is all about self. Um, when you get the strength card, it's asking you to be authentic, your, authentically yourself. It also asks you to have the strength and the courage to stand up for yourself. There's a couple of things here as well, because your actions and your interactions in the world is what you do. It's how you act. It's how you behave. It's the actions that you take. Um, and the strength card can, as well as having strength and courage, it can also talk about your physical body. So this is a month for you to really look after that. This is a month for you to start thinking about, even though this is your actions and your interactions and you know your money and your materials is actually your body as well. But your actions and your interactions are ones of authenticity. This is about being who you are and more importantly, not being afraid to be seen to be who you are. So your actions and your interactions this month are kind of saying, you know what, it's about leading by example. That's one aspect of this. But the other part of this, it's about looking after yourself. It's about taking all emotional energy you see there, she's taming a lion. And I always say that this is about taming your emotions. It's about taming your own heart. And when you can do that and channel that emotion into something positive, the strides that you can make in life are absolutely astounding. Now, the strength card in this position actually talks very much about your physical body. This is the month for you to start a new exercise regime. This is a month for you to start really looking at your mobility. You know, one of the things for absolute and ultimate health, interestingly enough, because Leo represents the heart and the spine, is spinal mobility. If you were, they say, I think in acupuncture and chiropractor uh, and, chi and chiropractor um, practice, they say that the your a the age of your body uh, comes down to the age of your spine and you know your mobility. I'm not a doctor. Um, I can't give you medical advice. I'm not a chiropractor. I'm not an osteopath, so I can't give you that kind of advice. I am, however, a trained holistic therapist, and what I can tell you is that it's important for you to be pain free. Um, you need to be able to move well. You need to be able to articulate each and every part of your body. This is speaking directly about your spine. And what this kind of says is it's about your heart and your spine. These are things that you want to start to take a, uh, take a look at and more importantly, start to take care of going forward. The heart and the spine this month are things that you want to start looking after. They're things that you want to start thinking about. How can I get more mobility in my spine? How can I, um, you know, make my heart healthier? This is looking about, looking at and about all things that go into giving you health in those sectors. On a socio sort of note, as well, your actions and your interactions with the strength card. This is about you tapping into the fun, light-hearted creativity. This is about you showing people that actually it's okay to just be who you are. And if you seem, you know, if you come across as being silly or whatever, that's important. In fact, that's actually a good thing when you can really tap into the fun, light-heartedness of yourself and, you know, laugh at yourself a little bit. You actually start to excel, you grow, and more importantly, you show other people that it's actually okay to do and be those things themselves. Interesting, so your money and your materials this month, your money and your materials, and this could be, you know, your home, it could be your finance, it could be your job, it could be your physical body, as we've already seen, you know, that's gonna feature quite heavily for you this month in general. 
So you get the five of pentacles. Shit. So there are challenges to the money this month. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There are challenges to the finances this month. Now, you know, the five of pentacles talks about loss. It talks about, well, not necessarily loss, actually. It talks about lack. And if lack is a vibration that you're sending out, that's the experience that you're going to have. You know, it's the the vibration of something attracts more of what it, it what you're putting out as a vibration is what you're going to attract more of. This usually talks about um, it talks about being out of pocket through accidents or through mishaps that take place. Now, Uranus has just moved into Taurus, so check out where that falls in your personal chart. You know, is check out what house it's in, check out what's, you know, what, you know what sign it's in, but check out where that is in your personal chart and it will give you more of an understanding of the kind of shocks, excuse me, and surprises that are gonna take place for you. What's important with this card, when I see this card is, it's about making sure that you put something away for a rainy day. It's not to say that the whole month of June you're gonna have no money. What it says is that there are challenges to your money. There are challenges to your finance. There may even be challenges to the home, you know, especially with the strength card and this card. This kind of says to me that if somebody comes to you and asks you for money, if they ask you for a loan, if they ask you to lend them something, be a hundred percent sure that it's something that you have to lose. It's something that you have to be able to give away and not necessarily expect back within a specific time frame. Um, you know, also keep an eye on your physical body. You know, your spinal strength. You know, um, accidents and mishaps. Think. You know, be conscious. Be aware. Don't forget, Mars is going retrograde. Mars is your ruler. Aries is going retrograde it will go retrograde in the sign of Aquarius and then go retrograde right back into the sign of Capricorn where it actually loves to be but it will still be retrograde so this asks you and interestingly enough I'm an Aquarius sun sign yesterday I was um, making uh, some guacamole and uh, I sliced a massive chunk into my thumb and was like you know one of those moments where you're like sharp intake of breath finger in mouth you know, and you know, Mars, sharp things, objects, um, haste, you know, I was, I'm so used to cooking and making things that I wasn't really paying as much attention as I probably should have. And therefore, you know, even though Mars hasn't gone retrograde yet, it is actually in its shadow period now. It ended its shadow period around the 12th of March, uh, 12th of March, the 12th of May. It will go fully retrograde on the 26th of June. So even though that's quite a way away from the time that I'm filming this video, that energy has already started to kick in. It's happening in my sign as well. The fact that this is your ruler happening in, uh, if you're an, an Aries ascendant, especially, this is like your, um, your, I think it's like your 10th or 11th house. It'll be one of those two. Um, but even still, it's something that you want to keep an eye on. Um, so the challenges to the money may well be health health related. So it's really, really important that you take this time where Mars is going to slow down to take the time to look at your health, to look at your diet, to look at the way that you're doing things. Are you really looking after yourself as best as you could? Okay, so your communications with the world at large. You get that Eight of Swords. It looks like, I'm going to be really honest, Aries, you guys are going to have a challenge in June. And you know the, the beauty of a challenge in month is that one, you get to see just how much you've learned, two, you get to see just how far you've come, and three, you get more lessons. You know, if there were never any challenges in your life, do you really believe you would have learned half the stuff that you have? Do you really believe you would have been able to excel as far as you have? Of course you wouldn't. We grow by adversity. Unfortunately, that's a part of life. Uh, the fact that this, the Eight of Swords, constriction, confinement, something that we feel held back by, something that we feel held down by, is in your communications. This month, it's going to be really important for you to, if you're the person reaching out to somebody for financial help, you know? And one of the things I've noticed about Aries as well, they really don't like to ask for help. 
And that comes into the, you know, the self, the ego that I like to be able to do, I like to be self-sufficient. That's great. But if you need help with something, if you need to talk to somebody about something, it's really worth doing. We, you know, it's not just adversity that we grow by, it's connections. It's interactions with other people, you know, that we grow by. And sometimes if we get an outside perspective, if we get an outside or a second opinion, we then are better armed to make better decisions for ourselves and for our lives. It kind of feels like you are either silencing yourself, like you're choosing not to speak, or you are being silenced this month. So the strength card, which is Leo, represents the out there. It represents, you know, this is the personality, it's the self, it's the expression of self and the creativity. It's opposing your communications, which is the eight of swords, which kind of says that, you know, there's the constriction, there's a confinement, there's, it's like silence is being imposed on you. It's like someone clamping your tongue. That's the feeling that I get from this. And it's gonna be really important for you to find a way to still say what you have to say and be authentic and true to yourself whilst, uh, sorry, that's just because the light is so bright. Um, it's really sunny here in the UK and I'm loving every moment of it. Um, and as much as I would love to be outside, you, my subbies, come first. Um, so yeah, the Eight of Swords in the communication sector, this is about you being silenced or choosing silence yourself. Um, and it's a really interesting one, um, to say the least. Also, like I said, in a financial sense or in a, even in a material sense when it comes to work or anything like that, if you feel like somebody could help you, do not be afraid or ashamed to reach out. You might find that it's actually a massive, massive help. And then finally, your, act, uh, your, your heart and your heart. Awesome. Okay, so whatever takes place in this month, will stay in this month. Now, I'm, I'm reading these two cards in conjunction first because that's the feeling that I'm getting that I need to do. And then I will go into it as a heart and half card. So this card, the Nine of Cups, represents healing and wish fulfillment, but ultimately it is total and utter healing. And you know, like I said, this is the, you know, what am I eating? Is my spine in check? Am I looking after myself? Am I moving well? Am I moving and exercising my body? Am I taking care of myself? Am I being conscious enough, you know, or have I had an accident or am I going to have an accident because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing? This card, the nine of the nine of cups, comes in with its healing energy and says, whatever takes place this month will stay inside this month. It's not gonna be, um, you know, it might just be a, a trip and where you know, you, and you bruise your back a little bit and you think, oh shit, you know, I'm gonna have to have two days off of work. This isn't gonna be something that carries on past here. You know, with the Nine of Cups energy, it's, it's about the healing and it comes forward and says, okay, you know what, this is going to take place, but it's not gonna be that bad and it will be something that you can move past very quickly, um, which is great. Your communications, providing you, you reach out and you talk to people and talk to someone, um, actually your communications, that feeling of being silenced or that feeling of being opposed in what you have to say will be lessened as well. So in your heart and your half, your relationships with people and your interactions with people on a, an intimate level. Um, for some of you, especially with Mars going retrograde, um, this kind of tells me that your past relationships, um, one in particular, um, you will be looking at and looking over and thinking, do you know what, I wanna reach out to that person. And you absolutely can. With the Nine of Cups there, this is reconciliation. This is you meeting and finding some common ground. It might not necessarily be that you get back together with an ex, or it's a possibility, especially with this card, um, but it's more a case of you will be able to find common ground. You will be able to find reconciliation. You will be able to say, you know what, can we bury the past and move forward, you know, for the future with both of us or for both of us. And that's beautiful. If there have been any disputes in the family over um, money, if there have been any disputes over, um, and what I kind of feel from this is about what you have or what you have had. And people kind of saying, oh, well, you know, what about me? And, and it's like, actually, this isn't about you. This is where I'm at. And if I'm reaching out to you to ask for you for help, you should kind of look at that and say, mm, okay, fair enough. This isn't the sort of person that usually asks for help. 
So it's an interesting month for Aries. I definitely see some, some challenges, but I don't see anything that's lasting. I see things, I kind of, the way that I see this as well actually is, Aries have not had an easy ride of it of late, but the last kind of six months, you guys have been coasting along and things have been kind of, you know, really quite blessed for you and nice. And now it's like this month, you're gonna have to work for it a bit. This is the month where you're gonna, you will have the challenges. One, to see how much you've grown. Two, to see how far you've come. And three, so that you can learn new lessons. This is how life will keep you growing and keep you showing up, um, you know, and you will keep growing and keep showing up for yourself and that's beautiful. Your key to the month. You get the hermit. Okay, so interesting, because the hermit, some people say it's a journey that you take alone. Um, for you this month, I feel that the, the hermit kind of represents the um, the understanding and the assimilation of the challenges. So once you've worked through all of this, you will be able to process it all, because this card's ruled by Virgo, the digestive system, so pulling out all of the little gems of knowledge and then say, okay, you know what, what has this month taught me? So actually this is gonna be a deeply informative month for you. You're gonna be learning a lot about yourself and realizing how much you know about yourself, how much you know about your coping methods, your coping systems. This is actually quite an exciting month for you, really, and it can be a good month for you if you allow yourself to roll with the punches. You know, Aries is a warrior, be the warrior, no matter how tough it gets or how challenging, um, you know, because I don't like the word bad or good, it's just, they're so outdated, you know? If, so if you roll with the challenges that you're met with this month, you can flourish. Um, and it will it will actually strengthen your resolve for all of the other things that you want in your life and all the other things that you want to achieve going forward. Aries, I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I hope that the messages that came through help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. If you haven't, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so below. We would be eternally grateful for it. Thank you so much for being here. and Thank you so much for being part of the Radiant Reality family. Take care and I will see you soon for more videos.